It's Friday, family. This is Pastor Flowers here at Transformation Community Church. And this is Friday Drill with Pastor Flowers. And the word that I want to share with you on today is going to come out of Genesis 3 and 23. And the title of this is Paradise Lost. Amen and hallelujah. And this is what the word says. The Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. And this is a story on uh, Adam and Eve and also a story of our home, which is our eternal home. Amen and hallelujah. So as I share this message, the news is filled with stories of hurricanes, tornadoes and, and wildfires spread not only here in the United States, but throughout all of the world. Amen. In addition to destructive impacts on nature, disasters like these have long term effects on many people whose homes and towns they destroy. If we lose our home, oftentimes we feel as though we lose not only a place where we live, but we also lose a sense of security and a sense of belonging. Amen. Our first human home was lost because of the fall into sin. The devil tempted Adam and Eve with the false promise that they could do better for themselves and did not need to listen to God. But we all know that's a lie, that that's a lie. And our first parents fall into sin. It brought judgment and it brought death for all of us. As a result of our first parents sin, humanity is now homeless. This place that we're living in here on earth is not our home. We're we're homeless and we cannot make our own way. I want you to pick what I'm putting down. We cannot make our own way back to the security of God's presence. We struggle. We still struggle under the effects of sin today. In this world, we are cut off from God. Yes, we're, we're cut off from God in this world. And even our best human efforts fall short of repairing broken relationships or creating the paradise that we long for. But I got to I, I got to share with this this with you. But God, here, here we go right there. That right there changes everything. We got a but God moment. But God is not finished with us yet. Amen and hallelujah. Help me somebody. God graciously provides for us so that we are able to survive away from our eternal home, from our, our, our time with, with him. And he still asks us, he still asks us today, where are you? Where are you? My son, my daughter, where are you? And it gives us an opportunity to recognize our homelessness and to follow the path of return back to our home through his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So here's what I, I need for you to understand and pick up what I'm putting down. Listen very closely. Jesus Christ died on the cross so that we can be reconciled back to God so that we can we can claim our eternal home, which is in heaven. Amen and hallelujah. The thing that is required of us is that we have to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And once we accept him as our Lord and Savior, we're connected, reconciled back to God in our eternal home is waiting for us a place called paradise. Amen and hallelujah. Glory to God. So family, if this word uh, inspired you, if it moved you, if it resonated with you, I ask that you please share this word. Uh, we can share it here on Facebook, you, YouTube, and on Instagram at TCC Arizona. It's important that we share this word to let everyone know that our eternal home is waiting on us. This here place that we're living in right now is temporary. Amen and hallelujah. And as I leave with you this time, as I leave with you all the time, I want you to know that I love you. I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I want you to know that God loves you so, so, so much more. So again, until this time next week, Friday, I want you to have a most favorite weekend.